B-Man 1313 with part three of our Where I Ride segments. And now I'm at Duncan Bridge. I'll call this Cooper's Creek because of that big sign that's there. People, this is Duncan Bridge Road. Wolf Pen Gap, 3260 elevation. So here we go. Cooper's Creek, Duncan Bridge, part three. We're sitting at 80 miles on the clock since I uh, gassed up. We did about a 50-50 on that last part. And I can't remember what we did on the first one while I'm riding, so that one will have to be, you'll have to just remember what I did on the first part. So we've done pretty good though. I, I know it wasn't 50-50, it was way more dirt than uh, concrete. And so here we go on part three. This one I think should definitely by far be way more dirt than concrete. We're headed straight west and this one there's no turning in this and that it's just basically going up and down that this mountain or on the actually on the side of it this is the one i'm not going to be able to kick it up on because i was bottoming out my uh, crf 250l and as you saw from my other videos i i don't have my skid plate bash plate yet and i do not want to bash in the bottom of my bike so first time my first time duncan bridge cooper's creek area on the honda nc 700 xd um, that is an aftermarket pipe that you hear it's not a harley that i'm riding <laughs> i don't like it um, i'm on the i'm working on getting a um either an oem exhaust or finding uh, a more quieter, stealthy, let's call it stealthy, a more stealthy uh, replacement for this one. I'd be fine with the OEM one. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the OEM is that it's completely silver. And this black, this bike is blacked out. It's murdered out! So, we'll see. I, um, I used to have a Hayabusa that I, uh, I put some high temp paint on the cans and it looked wonderful after that so i think i might do that with this one if it's if that's the case i found a scratched one for 40 bucks but it looked dented and scratched not just scratched i didn't mind if it was just scratched especially if i'm gonna paint it but we'll see um if you're watching this and you're looking for a, a gpr exhaust with about a thousand or so miles on it I'm willing to trade this one. You send me yours, I will stick this in the same box and send it right back to you. No charge for anybody except for the shipping you send to me and then I'll pay for shipping sending it back to you. Um, Cause I do not like how loud this one is. I don't really like the way it sounds. Um, sometimes I do. She grumbles when you're right there. She sounds cool, but then when you give her gas, I guess it's when you give her gas, I don't like how she sounds. So this road's not that technical. Um, it used to be, and they put gravel on it and got a tractor out here and smoothed her out. So she's not all that technical, but it's nice up here and it's dirt. So if you hadn't seen the first two parts, I finally decided I was going to make this into a three part, oh, well, not a three part, a bunch of parts. I'm not sure exactly how many parts I'm gonna end up with just yet see one of whatever two of whatever this is three of whatever and I'm gonna stop because I need a break and so um, yeah this is part three has a Corbin seat that is scrumptious. It is wonderful. I love it. Oh, that was a harder hole than I was expecting.
following the Tet. Now there's the Tat, the Trans American Trail, and then there's the Tet, the Trans Eastern Trail. Oh yeah, whiskey throttle. <laughs> it's like why ain't she slowing down? Because I'm giving her gas, dumb dumb. Um, and then there's the Trans. TET, the TAT is the Trans American Trail, the TET is the Trans Eastern Trail. And it supposedly goes from Florida to New Jersey, I want to say, something like that. And then um, there's the TETS, and it kind of just loops around Georgia, going into Florida, Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina. I mean, it kind of just it goes through Georgia mostly, but not really, and goes around in a big circle around Georgia. And so, um, I'm just trying to get my roads to line up so when I come out of this one, I'm good to go on the next section. And then when I come out of that section, I'm good to go for the next section. And this, I think this is gonna help me do that. So, I'm gonna see how that works out. I want to say, now that I'm saying this out loud, I don't know, I didn't check it, that it went all the way to Chatsworth. Um, but I think it, uh, yeah, I'll check it in a second. Let's get down here to this little creek river crossing. Yeah, we got in here. This was as deep as y'all get out. But uh, that was, well, that wasn't this past, but that was the weekend before. And it hasn't really rained that much these last days and stuff. So let's take a look at it and see. Yeah, it's it's a little deeper than than I want to get into right now. See how deep it is. It gets down in there. Pretty good. How are y'all? Good, good. <laughs> I always wanted to catch that on video, see if I could catch a picture of me on there. And once again, we've popped out into a uh, very fun twisty road. Call this, so we're gonna call it. Yeah, we will. It's 95 miles, so perfect. We're gonna call that 95. So uh, we did 12 to 13 miles on on dirt and less than five on concrete. Beautiful. Come back, I'll have to add these numbers up at the end. We'll see. I'll try to put them up at the end of each video. So, there you go. Part three is done. Stay tuned for part four. This will be a 